rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. Let's talk about these specials. Which which one we starting at? Go. Which one you start with? Uh, no. you know I got some stuff out. Uh, I did a Netflix special at the first Netflix is a joke fest. Uh, under my boy uh, Pete Davidson, that's the homie. We have one that's out right now called Pete Davidson and the Best Friends. I closed that out, and then I also put out my comedy album Random Rock. Shout out my mental capacity on all streamers, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Amazon. And then I also put out the visual component with it that's on uh, YouTube. Uh, so yeah, that's out right now. And then Tone just put out his Wait, first. see how the young guys are so techie? He know all that shit. He's like, yo, yeah. red prestigious and all this, <laughs> Spotify and all platforms. I, mean, I just said to myself, I'm going to watch it later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Google my name stuff. and it'll pop up. He keeps me abreast of all the stuff that like, the techie stuff that people are doing now. Right. So my special, I, I, I just want to let you go first. So I shot my special. So, so for years, I've been having meetings with the, the labels and the networks and the agents and the management. I can get the special done. I can get the special done. I can get the special done. Nothing ever materialized. So when 2023 started, I said, all right, you know what? We shooting the special this year. We're not waiting on nobody. We're doing it ourselves. Looked at the calendar, found a date, March 25th. Two five seven, mm -hmm. circled it, made it real. Now it's real. We're not gonna back off from this date because every year before I would go, okay, this is the date. Something would happen. Okay, I gotta change the date. We'll push it back. Right. Wait, my man, wait. Yo, what's something special? We are gonna shoot this date a month later. No, we gotta move it. We gotta move it. A year, whole whole year go by. That year, I said, yo, we circling the date to make it real. We not we not moving from this date. I started taking meetings with everybody. I took meetings with everybody. If they say they didn't take a meeting with me, they're lying to you. I met with everybody. Nobody wanted to give me a, a deal. Nobody wanted to give me a deal. Mm. That made me even more emboldened. I said, this is going to be my reasonable doubt. I couldn't get a deal, just like Jay. This is right. my reasonable doubt. Right. I took my own money out the bank. I went to the bank. I calculated what it would all cost. I took that amount of money out the bank. Every single penny spent on this special was my money. Mm. I shot it. I produced it. I EP'd it. I hired the production company. I hired the the stat, the uh, the 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 set designer, I hired catering, I hired hair, man. Every single penny from A to Z was my money. I shot it, shit was beautiful, beautiful. I paid for the editing, I paid for the sound, finished product, nobody wants to give me a deal. Shopped it, nobody wants to give me a deal. Soon as motherfuckers started seeing it and the word started getting out, I got an offer for the special, six figures, six figures. So now I know that I don't need them. The worst thing they could ever do, I told him, the worst thing they could ever do is let me know I could do this shit without them. Mm. So I shot the special. It it's is. ready to go. The material that didn't make the special, I went right back in. I started reworking that material. I went on the road. I went to Raleigh, North Carolina. I was doing a weekend in Raleigh, North Carolina. I hired a camera crew to come out. I hired set designers to come out. We did that shit in a day. They designed the set. I shot a half hour with the material that didn't make the first special. So I got a 45 minutes, 40, the first one is 47 minutes with clips, and then I shot another half hour. So I got Rock the World, and the second one is called Born to Rock. Mm. Both of them 100% owned by me. The worst thing they ever did was let me know I don't need them. So I'm gonna do this shit every couple of months. Every couple of months I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get my guys, yo, you got 20 minutes ready to go? You got 20 minutes ready to go? Let's shoot a special. Yo, Jordan, you got 30, I got 30, let's do one together. Yo, I got, I'm gonna keep doing them because now I know how to, I know the formula and I know I don't need this, the cosign from who, anybody. Mm -hmm. I can just do it myself. I could go YouTube, I could go social media, I could go streaming platforms. I'm good. What's the possibilities of you guys doing a three man show with your brother? No, that's gonna be, not, that's not gonna be we shoot it ourselves and they go to social media. That's gonna be a Netflix world premiere. Mm. That's gonna be, I would like to see, I don't know what you think, but I would like to see the way Chrissy did. The last one when he was in Africa, London, and Apollo. Yeah. I want us to do a special like that where you somewhere, I'm somewhere, and Chris is somewhere. And it cut to like the Barclays or it cuts to. Oh, yeah, that would be fire. Yeah. Yeah. That would be yeah. fire. Yeah. Yeah. Putting that like, into the world right putting, now. We guys. putting out there. We putting out there. <laughs> like you in South Carolina. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm in fucking Brooklyn. You know, Chris is in DC and it cuts to from East or he do a bit, cuts to me. I do a bit, cuts to Jordan, cuts to. Right. It's coming. Everything coming, man. Everything coming. That's fire. The dream don't die till you die. Yeah. 
Did you? Did you really? I, just I paused that. Yeah, I did pause that. What? Everything's Everything coming. coming. Hey. <laughs> see? <laughs> yeah. See? See? Yo. I, this is Let your me. fault. This is your fault. I told you. you see? No, we can play. We can, I, I told you. I told you. I, 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 I'm going play. I'm going play. <laughs> Get some of that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I tried to warn you ahead of time. <laughs> Bringing that expensive <laughs> shit. Hey, yeah, you know, hey, we got you, expensive man. taste. Oh, Productly Stone? Oh, man. I've been doing. Uh, he I'm, said that you I'm can't sorry. even hear him say Productly oh, Stone. Oh, no, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know that much in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, Productively Stoned. I was doing a show in New York for the last 10 years called Productively Stoned. That shit was fun, man. It was me and my boy, Reg Thomas. Uh, the best one we ever did, though. I turned 25, and a chick had a mansion. Like it was, You know how like, they have those oh, model yeah, houses? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's like, yo, you models can stay here and work with the agency. And chick was like, yo, for my 25th birthday... Me and my boy Reg did a banger. We uh, we took them over this model. Unintended. <laughs> took over. Uh, pause. 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 <laughs> no. I said, we, uh, yo, we. I don't want to cut it off the camera. Yo, we took over a mansion. Right. And then uh, we were, my boy was working with like Bel Air. Bel Air sent us bottles of like, of just mad bottles. Right. We're like, yo, we're going to give out a few. We're going to have a bar. We start stashing them shits in the house. The, the show, it was like a show slash party. The party got so crazy that niggas found the bottles and started like passing them around the party. So now like we doing the show, but everybody in the party is, hand, is holding a bottle oh, of Bel Air. Yeah. We're like, yo, what the fuck is going on? And that was like the one that set us off to like do it for the next eight years. Nice. And we did it for a long time. We did it, I was home in uh, 2022. We did it for a year at the stand. That was like the best. Uh, we sold out every show. Like all my homies used to come through. Uh, fucking, yeah, so many people would come through. And uh, yeah, that's just still going. But uh, I'm trying to rebrand it, man. I haven't been smoking all year, so it's productive. <laughs> it's productive comedy now, but it's still going. Why'd you stop smoking? Uh, I'm not done yet. I'm not. <laughs> done. I, just, I just took some time off, man. Why'd you take time off? I was high for a long time, man. <laughs> like I was smoking weed every day since I was 16. Yo, this motherfucker just come to my crib, <laughs> eat, and I'm just downstairs watching TV. Like, yo, enjoy that. Go upstairs, this motherfucker in the bedroom just... Yeah, like, yo, I was just high Smiley. for a long time, so I just needed the break, man. I've been sober all year. Yeah, it's been cool. It's pros and cons. It's pros and cons. Yeah, the yeah. pros are, the, you know, I'm clear-minded, I'm present. The cons, you know, I'm clear-minded, I'm present. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. No, I started smoking sativas. Oh, I love sativas. Yeah. Sativa, daytime weed, you got nighttime so weed. Excited. Right. When I came to New, when I went, moved to LA, everybody would be like, "Yo, this is daytime weed. This is nighttime, nighttime weed." weed. Right. And I'd be like, "What y'all talking about? Nigga, I'm smoking everything." Then I'd just be sleep. Yeah. So <laughs> then I had to yeah. learn, like, "Oh no, a good sativa." So yeah, I do like in the daytime when I buy weed, I like to have three weeds. I need to have daytime weed, like mm -hmm. a great sativa. I need a hybrid, so once we get past five o'clock, yeah, and then yeah. I need an indica to take me to sleep. sleep That's uh, like night quills and day quills and shit. Yeah. Y'all want to pause crazy. for it, Tony? Yeah, yeah, we going for it. But yeah, that's but not that, but that's basically what I do now. Like yeah. I'd save the indicas for night for nighttime and the sativas, like if I get up in the morning, I'm like, yo, it's gonna be one of those days. Let me just Cause a good sativa, man, make you excited about dumb shit. Fact. It makes you monologue. Yeah, I start yeah. monologuing. I be in the crib talking to my girl, giving speeches and shit. Like yeah. that. She be like, yo, he's amazing. You need to write this down. And I'm yeah. like, yo, it's Augusta the Tifa have you in the crib like, this is my place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning, nigga. I'm, I'm Swiffer in the floors right now. Right. Like, <laughs> Augusta Tifa have you, have you lit in the crib. Thanks. So, yeah. Nice. When did you start smoking? I've been smoking. I didn't know that. I don't like New York weed, though. I will say that. You don't like New York? I don't like the legalized weed. I will say that. Mm. You, don't, you don't fuck with the gumbo or none of that? I, I do fuck with the gumbo. I do know that, like, you know what's funny? My homie knows the gumbo people from Connecticut. So, like, yeah, like. Luca? I, yeah, I yeah fuck, Luca's been on the show. Yeah, I fucks with the gumbo. I think I think Matt, got, Matt caught a contact. I gotta so tap in with I gotta tap in with the gumbo dudes because my boy was just my boy just called me my boy ramp like he used to he used to fuck with them so I'm I, when I come back I'll be on all the good shit 
So, <laughs> yeah, I do. Gumbo, because gumbo is like a rare, gumbo's the shit right now. Mm-hmm. But all that stuff that's at the bodega and everybody, <laughs> like, because New York, you don't never know what the fuck you're getting. And then I don't like those cartoon bags. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every bag is like a cartoon character. I'm like, yeah. nah, nigga, give me, give go me, back to the zips or some shit, you shit, know? Shit, facts, facts. Let me look at this shit. Yeah, man, like, I still want niggas to put it on a scale and then show me the number. <laughs> 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 it's good. That's a 3.5 right here. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the cup, right, nigga. Right. <laughs> he wants to do nah. a legit drug deal. <laughs> yo, that's what it, yo, I don't know what it is. No, because it's like you gambling now. It's like, I don't know, on, man. It's a TV. <laughs> yeah, weed, <No. laughs> weed is a weed. It feel a, a little bit. You get a little bit higher with that suspense, you know. Like back when you was breaking the law for it, like that shit was. <laughs> yeah. that shit was mm. It meant more. <laughs> yeah, meant now more. you walking down the street, everybody smoking weed. You like y'all niggas ain't even cool like that. <laughs> Speaking of getting high, y'all ever been to a Diddy party? <laughs> <laughs> Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.